Horn and Indian Mountain Trade Center. I have taken the chance this morning to come to talk to you because I have heard people have been murmuring in my market. Murmurs, murmurs. When, they, when the Philistines gathered together, they murmured against, against the righteous people. And they said unto them, they murmured. They, you know what a murmur is? That's when people walk up to you and they get down and they go murmur, murmur, murmur. Let me tell you a little tale. Let me pack a little tale for you. Murmur, murmur, murmur. And the one that I heard that made me get in my car this morning, even though my back is hurting and I'm, it's not a good morning for me, and drive all the way over to the land of milk and honey here at Indian Mountain Trade Center was the murmur that people had been murmuring in my market that we were for sale. We are not for sale. We will never be for sale. So if somebody walks up to you and says, hmm, murmur, 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 I heard that this place was for sale. You can look them square dead in the eye and say, you're a liar. You're a spreading the lies, you're a packing the tales, and you are murmuring against what is our place here in the Indian Mountain Trade Center. Now, the other thing that we came over to talk about today is, now, we're not for sale. That means that we're going to be in this for the long haul. We're going to be here for the next 25, 30, 50 years, God willing, and the creek don't rise. But let me just tell you, we're going to have to do some things old school. We're going to go back to the way we did it in the 80s, back in the flea market days when the flea markets were thriving, because we're going to thrive again. So we're going to get down to one simple rule. I always tell people I want to break it down. My simple rule in a flea market is DDSS. People ask me, what does DDSS mean? DDSS means don't do stupid stuff. Sometimes the last S is a little bit different if I get a little bit heated at somebody. So ask yourself the question, before you do something in this market, is it stupid? If it's stupid, don't do it. Go on, do something else. For example, if you're in a if you're in a building and you're running around to all the other vendors tail packing, packing a tail. Well, this vendor over here is doing that, or this person's going to do that. That's stupid. Don't do it. That's against the rules. If you're one of those vendors that's constantly causing drama, drama. This is not days of our flea market. This is not days of our flea market. This is not general Indian Mountain Trade Center. This is not a drama. We're here to one, do one thing. Make money. Build a community. Buy, sell, and trade. To earn a living. That's stupid. Don't start trouble. If you're one of those trouble starters, we don't want you here. Go find you another place to start trouble. If you think you can do it better than us, Go buy you a place. Go build you a place. Do it yourself. We'll come down and visit you and shake your hand and congratulate you for stepping up and giving people a place to make a living and earn a place to buy their children's clothes and help pay off their car and help send their kids to college. That's what we are here for. We're not here to drama and tailpack and start trouble. Now, the biggest problem that I've heard is that some people have disrespected Rebecca in this market. If you disrespect Rebecca, you're disrespecting not only me, but the dream that my father had. So do not disrespect Rebecca. Rebecca is our voice on this market, and if she says this is the way it is, that's the way it is. Because she is bringing our word directly to you, and our directly, and there's no other way to put it. What she says goes. She is here for us. She is our representative on this market and will be. We don't have a lot of rules here. But if you can't respect them, don't come here. Go on down the road. This is a business and we will run it like a business. And we will thrive and we will prosper. And in 50 years, when we're sitting around with talking to our great-great-grandchildren, I hope to be here in 50 years, I'll be 100 years old at that day. 
We can tell them about how these markets climbed out of the great pandemic and became the thriving economic force that revitalized and reborn Appalachia. With that being said, I love you. You're my people. We're going to get through this together. And more importantly, we're going to not just get through it. We are going to thrive through it. We are going to be amazing. You're going to be amazing. And like I said, we're all going to start making that first million dollars out here this morning. God bless you. Take care. And good luck.